Hello. Today I'd like to discuss uh, an energy therapy called speed healing. That's speed healing. And uh, this is a natural healing process. That's why it's on the website naturalhealing1.com. Uh, what speed healing is, it's a method of relieving pain quickly. It's a study of uh, the lymphology. Now, um, Dr. C. Samuel West, chemist and registered lymphologist, dedicated the last four decades of his life making discoveries to teach people how to take care of themselves. He produced a self-help educational program that is designed to teach what must be done to free your body of pain and disease and give you the energy you were designed to have. Now, do you have pain? Pain anywhere? Okay, most people have. Okay. Um, so, uh, lymphology is a term that was adopted by ISL, International Society of, of Lymphology. This society was formed in 1966 in the home of Dr. H. S. Smyerson. With the help of international military forces, including the U.S. Army, the top medical minds in the world who were doing research on the lymphatic system, uh, even from behind the Iron Curtain, were pulled together. The ISL consisted of approximately 370 members. So uh, what this is, is um, they were studying uh, what causes uh, disease, how to alleviate pains. Uh, many years ago, uh, the lymphatic system was a system not known in the lymphatic fluids. Now, today we know that there is more lymphatic fluids in the body than there is blood. Uh, lymphatic fluids is what uh, takes the toxins away from the cells. Okay, uh, the lymphatic system is sometimes referred to as our second circulatory system. Unlike the bloodstream, which carries nutrients and oxygen to our cells, the lymph system carries waste, excess fluids, and other materials away from our cells. This material is dumped back into the bloodstream at the base of the neck after the the lymphatic system has had the chance to purify the fluid and destroy any harmful bacteria, viruses, or waste products. We all have recognized lymph gland swelling in various parts of our bodies when we have an infection. This is the amazing lymphatic system working to make us healthy again. If the lymphatic system that helps to produce antibodies and organizes the white blood cells into action. So you can see the picture right here. This is the dry state. This is what is called the wet state. This right here is a lymphatic fluid. Now when we are in disease of any kind, our cells are in the wet state right here. What that means is that there is too much water in the intercellular uh, areas right here, which means that uh, nutrients cannot get to the cells and waste products cannot be taken out. It has to be in a dry state in other words, with less fluids around the cells, then the lymphatic system can do its work. Now, don't get this confused with uh, dehydration. Uh, of course, you need to drink water, and plenty of water, so I'm saying six to eight glasses of water a day. That This water that we take does not produce a wet state. A diseased condition produces a wet state. So, um, this uh, second circulatory system is truly marvelous, but we have only recently begun to understand its true divine function. Now, uh, in 1961, 
a man ahead of his time, made an important discovery. Dr. Arthur C. Geisen, Guyton, G-U-I-T-O-N, author of the textbook of medical physiology, published research that revealed the most important but least understood function of our lymphatic system. He said, and I quote, the lymphatic system represents an accessory route by which fluids can flow from the intestinal spaces into the blood. And most important of all, the lymphatics can carry plasma proteins and large particulate matters away from the tissue spaces, neither of which can be removed by absorption directly into the blood capillaries. We shall see that this removal of blood proteins from the intestinal space is an absolutely essential function without which we would die within about 24 hours." Unquote. Imagine this role of our lymph system that if not properly performed will cause our death within 24 hours or less. If our lymphatics cannot work properly, then the body is unable to maintain what science refers to as the dry state around our cells. You can see how the cells are packed close and tight against each other, this area right here. The cells on the right are flooded by excess fluid and are in effect drowned and cannot receive adequate oxygen and nutrient supply, this right area right here. So this, uh, the dry state is the perfect condition where true health occurs. The cells on the right are flooded by excess fluids and are in effect drowned. In this condition, the cells are damaged and become subject to disease. The only substances that can cause this to occur are the plasma proteins. Dr. Guyton refers to these proteins can become trapped in the spaces around the cells if not removed by the lymphatic system. This happens in our bodies when we disobey the natural laws of health and overburden our system. A new science called the art of lymphocyzing reveals that we, what we must do to keep the blood protein circulating in the body via the, the lymphatic system. Well, we'll talk about specifically um, what this uh, lymphocyzing is. Right here you can see uh, an illustration of the lymphatic system in the body. Picture it as a tree whereas the branches are our arms. The trunk of the tree is the th thoracic duct in the center going down body and the roots are through the legs. This lymphatic system is throughout our whole body and like I said it, we have more lymphatic fluid than we have blood in our body. Uh, next talk we will talk about Every cell has a sodium potassium pump like this. And we'll talk more about what the sodium and potassium does and how it functions in the cell. Until next time, talk to you later. Bye.